Hey guys, today at Coyote Classics, it's uh, the 30th of March, and we finally have our first nice spring day. It's about uh, 60 degrees here, and the classic car enthusiasts are gonna be rolling in the door here at Coyote Classics pretty soon, and um, I can't wait to get them behind the wheel, this 1968 Arresto Mod Camaro, done in a beautiful red with white stripes. It's an RS car, absolutely stunning inside and out. As we look down the sides of this car, it's got an amazing stance, a beautiful paint finish, and uh, just all in all, just a badass muscle car. Dalton's gonna go ahead and open the hood, and uh, we'll see uh, what's under the hood of this beast. Wow. <laughs> it's fantastic, guys. As we look underneath the hood, the inner fenders are painted just as nice as the rest of the car. Chrome hood hinges. I'll tell you what, this car is fantastic. As we look at the firewall, it does have the vintage air system, so they smoothed off the entire firewall, inner fenders. I mean, this car was done right as far as the, uh, the wiring and stuff all looks fantastic. Serpentine bell system, vintage air conditioning, power steering, four-wheel Willwood disc brakes, brand new steering sector. It's got an Edelbrock uh, fuel injected system on it, aluminum radiator. You name it under the hood, guys, this muscle car has it. Got the steel cowl hood, the underlayment. This car is definitely show quality under the hood, Dalton. 100 percent It's probably one of the nicest Rasta mods we've had here. We've had I mean, some cool cars. It's a sweet car. Um, just like me and Dalton said, nothing is perfect. I don't care how much money a guy spends on a car, none of them are perfect. So we're gonna do our best to point out a couple of things here that, that aren't absolutely perfect on this car, but Man. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic 68 Camaro, guys. Um, Dalton, we go ahead and open up the hideaway headlights while we're up here, please. So as we look at the front end, the grill and hideaway headlights are excellent. It's got the front spoiler. Um, hideaway headlights open beautifully. Go ahead and shut them, D. Um, as we look at the hood here, our hood hinge excellent on it which makes this thing lay down really nicely across the top of the uh, fender to the top of the hood front bumper and emblems are all new um, this is just how this car came in um, we're a little light staffed right now so we didn't have time to buff it out or anything it really doesn't need it um, just a fantastic looking car I love the red and white together It goes great with that 71 Resto Mod Camaro we got in. Yeah, the 71 Resto Mod Camaro is an awesome car as well. Um, as we go here and check out this fender gap, we have a really nice gap on the passenger side front fender. Um, emblems here are perfect, all brand new. Does have the uh, RS rocker molding all the way down along the bottom. As far as our Willwood disc brakes, it's got uh, butt neck wheels on it. The wheels are fantastic. It's got the slotted uh, drilled rotors on it. Wheel well trim looks fantastic. It's got the dual chrome mirrors. As we look at the roof, um, the roof paint is beautiful. It's got a great sound and dual exhaust. So would you go ahead and just rev it up a couple times for me? You take your time. Um, it's got the rear spoiler, the stripes are back there, RS, gas cap, um, chrome around the tail lights and stuff is all brand new. This thing sounds awesome. Um, check out the tires, man. These things got some meat on them. Um, it's got beautifully dished wheels on the back. Again, rear uh, disc brakes. Uh, these tires are um, BFGs. As far as their tire size, we got 285, 285.30, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.40, 285.
20s it looks like. Yep. And that is one heck of a deep dish there. As far as our wheel well, over top the wheel well, behind the rear wheel, all that is excellent. Come in front of the rear wheel, the lower rocker. That all looks good, the door looks good. I hope the interior is gonna show off as nice as I want it to. I know my photographs in the sun didn't uh, turn out the best. Um, you can see the paint in the door jams looks beautiful. Obviously the doors are all painted off the car. It's got the TMI seats in it. So it's got the low back buckets with the red stitching. It's got the suede in it. So it's a leather with the suede inserts front and back. I'll tell you what guys, it's just a beautiful choice of interior. Yeah, the interior, the paint and everything beautiful on it. Interior is my favorite though. I mean, you just don't see them done like that. Well, it's very comfortable too. Um, you can tell we've got all new screws and bolts and the GM markings, new rubbers. You can tell all the new screws and stuff. The car was done really well, done a few years back. So it's got a couple little chips and stuff, but uh, they all do if you're gonna drive them and enjoy them a little. Uh, as far as our door panel goes, again, custom door panel matches 100% to the, the seats. And I'm pretty sure you can get these from a parts place and stuff. Like TMI has a beautiful seat that they make here. The carpeting is excellent. Um, it's a real nice soft carpet. Again, the back seat is all the suede, soft kind of velvet in the middle. Um, door panels in the back are just like the fronts super professional all new custom uh, door handles the headliner guys is the hard plastic headliner the hard headliner in it so you don't have to worry about no sagging or tightness of the headliner rear sails are excellent our rubbers here are nice front quarter of the door this front quarter of the door is perfect we do have a chip in the paint right here inside the door it has uh, what kind of speakers here? Can't really tell what size speakers they have here, but it's got the speakers and the kick panels. It's got a super nice stereo system in it. It's got a pretty good size amp too. Does it in the trunk? So inside the trunk, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, I'll let Dalton mess with this radio a little bit when we get going. Um, again, vintage air, and that's working perfect. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that working. As far as our horn, guys, the horn is not working at this time. Um, it's got all new factory gauges, and the gauges are absolutely phenomenal. It's got 230 miles on the gauges. Not positive if that's the miles on the restoration or not, um, but I know this car has sat and been shown a lot more than it's been driven. As far as the dash pad, same thing, guys. It's a beautiful black dash pad with all the stitching, matches the seats, matches the door panels and everything. There's your vintage air unit. It's got a brand new Hearst four-speed shifter. Beautiful custom console, cup holders. And this car really, guys, has it all. What do you think about this car, D? Oh, I love it. Definitely my favorite one on the lot. I love the sound system, love the paint. I mean, really, whether you're Dalton's age at, at 19, 20 years old, or you're in your 60s or 70s, everyone likes these Resto Mods, modern comfort with the old school look, guys. Uh, there's your gas tank. Um, it's a custom gas tank for the fuel injected system. Obviously, it's not your factory one. Uh, inside the trunk, like I said, coyoteclassics.com. You're gonna see all those photos in there, the trunk, and it's super nice. Um, they made it just a little smaller because it's probably got subs and amp in there. Um, but there's still room, looks like, for your golf clubs. I kind of noticed that. Whoever built it left just enough room there. Um, behind the rear wheel is excellent over the wheel well. Now, I, you, not, you can't notice this in the paint, but under a, a light, I got to point this out. Um, I can't even see it. Okay, right, right here. It's got a few, just a little paint speckles here, a few paint imperfections right above that stripe right there just right in this area right here so I can just I just wanted to point them out like I said nothing no matter how much money how much time spent nothing is perfect forever guys um, but this car is damn close yeah. as far as the roof goes the paints beautiful there you can see your reflection anywhere in the paint our door gaps got a nice white gap from top to bottom no issues there at all Again, 
and those wheels. If I had a car to keep, I love those big fat wheels, guys. And they're tucked in there nice, aren't they, D? Yeah, they are. It, it totally gives the car that retro rest of my boat. Um, we do have a couple little paint chips I want to point out. I didn't really see anything on the passenger side, but I noticed uh, we got a little one right here in this edge of this door. Um, probably happened during restoration or shortly after, because if we look, the door gap on it's really nice right now and you have no clearance issue whatsoever. Uh, no bubbles or blisters. Looks excellent down low. Again, as we open the door, um, great quality paint. And I love the paint quality underneath the hood. I mean, this car is super sharp. Again, headliner, everything super nice and tight. Um, one thing I did notice, it's on our work ticket, guys. Uh, dome light is not working. So the dome light and horn are both on our work ticket right now. Yeah, such a beautiful car. Did you get any figured out with the radio? Um, I, had a, I know I had it hooked up to my phone uh, at one point when we first got it. And the sound system's awesome. Um, but I don't know if we really want to mess with it right now. Try to find a station at least for you guys. Alright. You drive, I'll play with a I'll station. I'll out later. Anyway, it's got a nice stereo system in it. Check out the shifter and this leather console is just awesome. Inside here is a nice spot with nice cup holders and they're deep cup holders. I actually drove this a car when I bought it uh -huh. and uh, drove it around town and had a uh, had a soda in there, I'll tell you what, this is a fantastic car. Our bolt gauge works great, gas gauge works, tack works, temperature gauge works. We're running about 180 right now. Um, as far as our oil pressure goes, it's been idling here for quite a while and it's running right around 55, 60 pounds of oil pressure. So all of these gauges are working, guys. Wipers work. They park correctly. Our air works, I can feel that right now. Oh yeah. kind of a maze to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, but this car is truly amazing. As far as our four-wheel disc brakes, I mean they stop perfectly. got tilt wheel guys and an awesome um, oh wait the horn does, the horn work, does work sorry about that um, anyway it's got an awesome uh, steering wheel beautiful wheels they're matching wheels and everything done to this interior looks like it belongs I mean, it really does transmission shifts great though as far as our downshifting it shifts just as well as that newer Roush Mustang, really. Yeah, it's just really good. As far as our gears go, um, the gears in it, I'm guessing, are probably 373, something like that. We're running about uh, 3,000 RPMs at uh, 65, 70 mile an hour. They just perfect. Yeah, they are. A lot of people like the 373s. Uh, what some people like on this, if you go ahead and you throw that fit five speed in it, then you really got something. I'm surprised they did it, but. Yeah, a lot of people like keeping them stock though. Exactly. Depends on what age group you are. 
it's just such a sweet car. Uh, go to our website. I mean, you don't get a chance to, to get cars like this often. So, I mean, go check it out. Do yourself a favor. Give us a call. Um, I mean, we'll answer any question you got. It's an amazing car.